Deadly Friend is Wes Craven's best horror movie that he never intended to be a horror movie. So I guess what I'm saying is this film's a confused mess. <laughs> Quite a few silly things in this film regardless, but the studio coming in and trying to make it like one of Wes Craven's other films despite it initially not being like that film at all is just a recipe for hilarity! And disaster, I suppose. Funny disaster. And yeah, just guess what movie Warner Brothers decided this need to be like, which we get some nods to. So heavy, they probably got motion sickness or bashed their head into the wall. But hopefully not, because your head would probably explode from that. You'll see. So the first part of this film is one of those non-human, wacky, cute sidekick for the main character films. I mean, just take it from our friendly neighborhood carjacker here. Me dick. Hey, you're kind of cute. <laughs> Aww, that is cute. This is our introduction to BB, our main character Paul's robot, who was just going to kill this carjacker if they weren't almost back to the car. Don't know what he is going to do with the body. Hopefully he's got an incinerator in there, but probably not. Well, I almost died, but I sure hope they got some baby beef burgers from Coca-Cola. Those soda restaurants are all the quality. <laughs> Yeah, BB. Oh wow, no wonder BB's got a few anger issues. I'd probably want to strangle someone too if I had to view the world in glorious 120 by 90 pixel resolution. So Paul, you could develop an artificial intelligence, but didn't think it actually being able to see well might be an aid to it? Ass! Having fun? Back you! 68 Merkel. Oh, more people who've got a place without even seeing it first. Wonder how they got it. Told me not to buy property on eBay. <laughs> oh, Joe, eBay didn't exist back then, silly. Okay. Sorry, uh, I know that was pointless, but I was just trying to avoid having to listen to BB again. What do you think? <laughs> You know, if you're gonna give your robot a voice, maybe not program it to speak like the Tasmanian Devil. <laughs> This isn't a creature, guys. It's a robot, so dumbass genius boy Paul had to program it like that. Hmm, I'd give it a voice, and instead of letting it learn language, I'll make it spout cheaperish constantly and smart. And you might be surprised to find out that the voice of BB isn't actually Frank Welker, but I'm sure he got over not getting this part when he got to be the anaconda in Anaconda. <laughs> That annoying noise from BB is actually the voice of Roger Rabbit, Charles Fleischer. I'm sure looking back, he's much more proud of this role. Oh man, a robot in the family, that's wacky. Is he for real? Where'd you get him? Ready. Well, I made him. Yeah. What's your name? Tom. Uh, BB? This is Tom. Yeah, not a <laughs> BB, destroy! <laughs> What is he, programmed to do that? I developed a basic program. Then he sort of makes up his own mind after that. Do you know anything about artificial intelligence? Ah. Huh? This is Brain. Okay, you're the fucking one who made him, Paul, and he's got artificial intelligence. You think he likes his brain being pulled from his head chest to show every dumbass who falls off his bike? Hmm, yeah, all right. I'm beginning to realize why he talks that way. Baby, finally learning to talk! Hey, Baby, the paper boy wants to see your brain. <laughs> Look at it, looks like a chipboard. <laughs> Baby, finally learning to... <laughs> 
You can never know what he's gonna do. He might even kill someone. <laughs> You're in the 10th grade? What an oddly specific stupid question. I don't think if I ran into Mr. Oh, by the way, meet my robot, I'd assume he was in the 10th grade. Well, whatever. What's he up to? I need to recharge his batteries. <laughs> Oh, he's gonna kill someone someday. Where'd that piano even come from? Is mom moving in? And BB's really taking after his dumbass creator here, huh? Smart enough to sniff out an outlet, but too stupid and careless not to find one stuck behind a piano. <laughs> BB, come and say hello. I do. Look at this. It's amazing. Smarter than I am, he brought an umbrella. Haha, <laughs> why aren't you famous for creating this? <laughs> right, that's why. And there's way more important things for BB to do, like mow the yard. Yeah, take that, you scientific marvel piece of shit. Oh, but then BB meets Buffy. Not the good Buffy, but it's a Buffy. <laughs> You know, your abusive dad's gonna die for that. Yay. My name's Sam. What's yours? Uh, Paul. You had to think about that one. Maybe I'll come over sometime. Sure, bring your dad. I mean dad. BB loves showing off the piano. <laughs> Speaking of, I love that genius dumbass Paul gave BB the power to do that, but not the power to master three steps. Hey, what do you know about, uh, people live next door to me? Sam? Yeah. Great tits. <laughs> <laughs> You're telling me. Aw, he likes her tits. What a sweet relationship already. <laughs> and Tom's just an asshole. Uh... Anyway, they go off to meet the local friendlies, like basketball woman. I got a shotgun. Jesus, she's waved that at me a million times. Yeah, she hasn't shot anyone yet. It's not a problem until then. But what is a problem is the usual 30-year-old bike gang bullies who don't take too kindly to damn dirty robots. But luckily, BB's got crotch-crushing action to protect his robot master. Oh, I'll crush you if you want. It's three multi-valve compressors. Yeah. Tell your friends to leave. I wanted to bake you something, but I couldn't. I just brought these. Oh, I love these. I love them. I think it's the first girl I ever had in my room. Wow, what's up here? Well, the way to the attic is through his room? Who designed this house, Paul? I'm looking for my daughter. I'm from next door. Did she come here? It's all right. We were studying. All right! Hey, this won't happen again. Dad, I told you I was studying. Am I concerned or bored? Feelings don't compute. I'm worried. Shut up, BB. Ah. Now here's one of the studio demanded scenes, which is kind of great because it's silly as shit, but it's also a scene that most studios would probably ask to have taken out. And even then, it got heavily edited down for its original release. I'm your father. You do what I tell you. Now you see here why this didn't kill him, Buffy. You're supposed to use a wooden steak. Oh, damn, it was only a dream. Real dad isn't a fun blood fountain. Yet. Of course, we're a lot further along now. We're pretty close approaching the way a normal human brain works. Huh, <laughs> every class should have one of these. Makes my job so much easier. Want to take a shot, baby? Go for it. Oh, come on, BB. You just did that to be an asshole. So I approve. You can't do that! Oh, yes, I can. I'm a hidden character in Shaq Fu, you bitches!
And that's why she's Basketball Woman. <laughs> no, it's not. Oh, I'm sure glad he installed Red Vision into BB when he's angry. Much more useful than seeing shit other than a pixel. Look at this. Oh my god! How did you do that? I hooked it up to a new circuit and I set it for BB. I've created a monster! Wait, am I the one who's supposed to be saying that? Dr. Johansson tells me things are really coming along on your project. Yeah, we'll have the first robotic zombie plague off the ground in no time. Oh, so now our heroes, including wily robotic face genius, are committing vandalism. What assholes. Hey, Reeves, cut that out! Y'all never know who it was! It could have been any of the kids with robots in the neighborhood! And what else would the next brilliant plan be but to ring basketball women's doorbell and run away? Wow. But of course, gotta get more important use out of that AI getting the padlock combination. Could probably just break it, you know? And how the shit does basketball face ever get out when the padlock is on the outside? Hey, quick, run the wrong way! It's not any faster, but that way we're stuck! Oh, there's a fatty! Uh, Get out of here! Get back! Oh, there's a fatty! <laughs> yes! What a hero that woman is! Guess that's why she doesn't get the cops called on her. So the rest of life just kind of goes by without his lover. Nothing really matters to Paul. Well, he'll settle on Samantha since BB's dead and Tim's recovering from his latest concussion after playing in traffic. But little did Sam know she was getting the kiss of death from Mr. Bland Actor. Daddy. Wait, her last name is Pringle? <laughs> I can't take her injury seriously anymore. Was I taking it seriously before? If we can't stop the hemorrhaging, so we're gonna lose her. Well, of course you can't stop the hemorrhaging, because once you pop, you can't stop. Her brain is dead, Paul. Much like yours when it comes to reasonable thought. Paul, what are you doing here? I need a favor. Oh. Big one. What's up? Take your pants off! We're gonna save Sam. Yeah, plenty of time to save her when she's brain dead. What do you mean save Sam? She's... She's dead. Well, not so much save Sam as save BB and put him in Sam's body. Best of both worlds. Are you out of your fucking mind? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll be right back with more deadly friends. Well, right back for some more wacky antics as Paul proves he's the son of the year by dumping a bag of drugs in his mom's coffee. <laughs> it's okay, though, because he needs to steal the van to reanimate the brain dead. We should just do it. Stop. Where's the life support? We were too late. Too late. Wait, how do you figure he's gonna lug a life support system past not only everyone in the hospital, but the people gathered in her room as they pulled the plug? Cowabunga! So here's something I bet you didn't know. You can just put a computer chip in someone's head to bring them back to life. There's only one reason this isn't used today to save lives. Damn global warming. <sighs> Ruins everything. I think my brain's malfunctioning again. <laughs> There's any life left at all in her brain. This will find it. Hey, Dippity Palda, she was brain dead. Brain dead. 
Oh, good. The person has an on-off switch. I'm sure she'll do great when you shut her brain down. Oh, well, Operation Dumbass continues, and why bother to cover a body you're moving around? Bet no one would find that suspicious at all. Well, they do put up with a crazy old fuck shooting around a shotgun, so maybe they wouldn't. Now it's time to check if Paul killed his mom. Yes, really. I think you killed her. I mean, I threw a pillar at her feet and she didn't wake up. It's the telltale sign. Mom? Oh, God. Mom? Oh. oh, good. The old pillow drop and shaking eventually worked. I was worried we were going to have to resort to checking for a pulse. Paul, you seriously had her turned off? <laughs> I feel better. <laughs> Not really. Paul the genius Thomas! Wow, I didn't know it took a brigade with sirens blaring to inform about a missing body. Say When the hell did you get up? I thought this was gonna be perfect and you'd just be bedridden for the rest of your life. And Sam, how the hell did you do your makeup? It looks great! Aww, her first instinct is to kill. That's sweet. Or it's the same instinct it's always had if it's more BB than Sam. Who the shit knows? Yeah, I see why he is so worried about getting that chip in her head shortly after they pulled the plug, so that he could basically pull the plug constantly. I feel really stupid that I have to say this, but do you know what happens when you shut a human body down? They die, you genius dumbass! Even if you want to say by some miracle there's still some Sam left in Robo Buffy's body, you're gonna kill it and she's gonna start to decompose! Well, next day, Mr. Smarty No Brains finds Sam missing. Hmm, she was staring ominously at her father last night and her house is just next door. Obviously, the first place to check is randomly down the road! Pa -pa 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 -pa! Oh shit, she did go there. Who could have seen it coming besides everyone else? Watch out! She's gonna use the robot claw fighting technique! Or are her hands just always like that? Not quite sure why her hands stick this way, but I haven't come across a lot of robot zombies, so maybe it's a thing. But probably not. <laughs> Oh yeah, everything is all right as a child murderer dies in a boiler room. Ha ha ha, I see no connection to anything. None at all. Sam, I can't believe you came here. I never have suspected. Oh well, cleanup time. I'll make sure to get my fingerprints on everything. That way the police will suspect everyone but me when they find the body. Hmm, my someone is about to open the curtains across the street, senses tingling. When we lived in Wichita Road, there was an old... Yes, and every... Holy shit, it actually worked for once. Usually it's just gas. <laughs> oh, it's coming. Another one of those magic moments in cinema, so I've got to use it again.
Oh, that is amazing! Oh, amazing! Amazing to know that if you have a computer chip in your head, it makes you so strong you're able to break the laws of physics. Wait, what? No! It's a chip in her brain! That doesn't change the way her eyes work! Right, that did just happen, so I guess it does work that way. Oh, then Freddy Pringle has turned into the Nightmare Man. You know, that scene's really got nothing to do with anything, but you know, a nightmare on Elm Street! What the hell happened to her head? The impact looks consistent with that of a basketball blow! The fact you just said that makes my head want to explode. Domo arigato, Mrs. Roboto, Domo Domo! But BB's Mr. Roboto! But Sam's Mrs. Roboto! Critical error! I'm gonna tell Paul. Just give me a chance. When you see it from the claws point of view, you'll get it. She's a beautiful abomination! No way! Jeez, thought that would have gone better. You creep! <laughs> oh god. Tom, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, that'd just be silly. Sam just jumps out the window and beats Tom's head into the ground till he dies of injuries. I mean, she can throw a physics-destroying head exploder, and I'm fairly sure the ground isn't softer than a basketball, and we don't see him after this, so he died. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sam, this is why I kept shutting your brain off. I was hoping to fry it so you'd never realize what a monster robot next mutation you were. Uh -oh, hey. Seriously, we had to get back to the bully? Guess his balls were out of commission for a while if he's just getting to this now. <laughs> I was just waiting for you to randomly run to this parking lot at night and knew it would happen eventually. Wow, never have I been less engaged in a fight. Okay, I probably have, but we can all see where this is going. <laughs> okay. I didn't see that coming. I mean, you knew she was gonna be the one to end this, but I didn't know she was gonna... It, it changed her vocal cords! It changed her vocal cords! Fair enough. Oh, boo! Why didn't it make the police car explode? Fixing this. So with all the police on her tail, naturally it's the beaten up limping genius dumbass who catches up to her first, cause, uh... That doesn't explain anything! Okay, it does. So that also explains her vision switching from BB vision to her actual eyes. That means she's more Sam now than BB? Maybe, maybe it just means her eyes get better hardware. Freeze! Stop! See, you would think this means Sam is emerging from this nightmare abomination Paul has created, but then she does the claw attack? Well, seeing as the police don't know about her mean b-ball skills, I'm sure they'll just try to non-lethally take her down. <laughs> Oh, I forgot the policy. Shoot first, ask questions later. Well, probably be getting a hearing over this one, bud. Or they'll just completely vaporize him since he's completely vanished in the next shot. Well, at least Paul has learned an important lesson. Oh, right, he hasn't. Okay, Sam, we're gonna get you out of here. Dying twice is a double negative. You'll be fine this time. <laughs> Win. Baby.
So you wait for Paul to wake up and for that last bit of nonsense to just be a dream and... It really happened. And that's the real reason we don't replace people's brains with computer chips. Or it's because... <laughs> The BB theme song. That's amazing. What a crime this is. It's only played during the credits. It would have improved so many scenes. You're kind of cute. Oh, oh. BB? This is Tom. BB, the The original version of this film was a science fiction thriller, mostly focusing around the love between Paul and Bibi. Oh, and Sam too, I guess. This film really got screwed up by having too many hands in the pot and trying to make a film that wasn't a Nightmare on Elm Street, just that. Well, they made a nightmare at least. <laughs> I can't say I believe all the silly elements of this film didn't exist before all the tampering, but it'd be interesting to see the film flow how it was actually intended. And I'm sure it'd be a much better overall experience that way. Then again... More films need basketball head explosions. As Deadly Friend is, it's still a pretty interesting watch and it's got a lot of funny moments to it. Is this about the Mortal Kombat joke? I thought we were past this, Sub-Zero. Oh, pfft, that's just silly. Silly-er. About the same. I went back to the Lin Kuei headquarters. I... They... Wait, why am I screaming yet? I didn't see that. Seriously? You gotta be shitting me. I don't like this movie. Doesn't look too friendly. This monster seems so fake. My nerves are gonna break. Failures don't let me down. You need to be around. Grab that running one up and blast that single new one. This movie. Fail us, so oh fail us Bring a multi-comedy of fail us, so oh fail us And some horror movies of oh fail us, so oh fail us I don't care about how you sound of oh fail us, so oh fail us What's your 